ITV News at 5. And up next, you know what you're getting in a used car? We'll tell you how to make sure your car wasn't previously damaged. When you buy a new car, new truck, you expect it to be just that, new. But a local woman found out the hard way that may not always be the case. Consumer editor Yvonne Zanos is live to tell us more. Yvonne. Well, Ken, isn't it a new car buyer's right to be the very first to dent or scratch it? Well, that's what Catherine Wilde thought, but she found out differently after a dealer sold her a new truck that had already been wrecked and repaired. Her fight for her rights led her down a bumpy road. Two years ago, Catherine Wilde bought a new truck. At least it looked new. The invoice said it was new. But to Catherine, new meant it should never have looked like this. It's wrong to sell a new vehicle to us for five years of payments and not tell us or disclose information that it was damaged. Damaged in the lot. If the dealer had done a more careful job on repairs, Catherine might never have found out. But as I pointed out back then, in addition to extra paint spots under the truck, there's something else you wouldn't expect in a brand new truck. On this side, the decal is white. On the repaired side, the decal is black. With Lemon Law attorney Craig Kimmel's help, Catherine Wilde fought. Two years later, did she win? Well, she received a full, a full remedy under the law, uh, the best possible scenario. Yeah. Uh, and that was without actually having to have the trial proceed. Catherine turned in the truck and ended up with $25,000, $10,000 to pay off her truck loan, and $15,000 more. Because by law, if damage done to a new vehicle is more than 3% of the value, or $500, whichever is more, the dealer has to tell a potential buyer. In this case, what had happened, in our opinion, was the dealership knew the repair would cost more. They didn't do the complete repair. They did a poor repair. Now, Catherine Wilde may have had the best possible deal under the law, under the circumstances, but did she win? Catherine says, no way. If she had it to do over again, she would not. She said it took two years and much too much out of her emotionally. She doesn't consider it much of a victory. She found out that fighting for your consumer rights isn't always easy. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Yvonne Zaynos.